Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to show you three paper pads that the nice people at Craftsmith sent me for my review. And they are so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, this was the insert that came in the package. And these paper pads are all available at Michael's right now. So you can check um, the app online or just you know head into your Michael's to see what you'd like. There are lots of different ones. Um, I have a bunch of them already, which I've shown on my channel, but these three I do not have, so I can't wait to show you. So let's get started, and I'm going to start with the one that I was most excited to get. This one is called Countryside, and I did see this in the store last week, and I was so tempted to get it because strawberries but um, I have, you know, I have a lot of paper pads and I was trying to be good and not spend the money, but it was said to be, so yay, I guess it was meant to be. So anyway, let's take a look through these paper pads. And um, if you have any questions, let me know down below and let's get started. So each paper pad has 16 designs with three sheets of each. So they're beautiful, these new paper pads. They're a limited time only. Um, they're a mix of solids and pattern papers. And the pattern papers have uh, foiling on them, which is really nice. And these are 12 by 12 paper pads, of course. So the first page is a navy blue background with gold foiling flowers. And I hope this angle is okay. I try to... Uh, position my camera so you could see the whole pad. I hope it's not too far away, but I think you could get the idea. So those are the first three papers, and this is really nice weight cardstock too. Um, I'm not sure what it is, maybe 65 pounds or higher. It's really nice weight. This page is like a brick red, which I don't have, so that'll be nice to have. Here we have a fruit page, and this reminds me of like an old-fashioned wallpaper. It's beautiful. It's got peaches and cherries, pears, um, what else? Some grapes, strawberries, butterflies too. So I like that. Here's a strawberry page that I just love. It's got uh, gold foiling on those scallops and a small strawberry print. Some of the strawberries have uh, stems on the uh, on the leaves on the top. So super, super pretty. Love that one. So three of those. Thank goodness. And then a pretty like periwinkle blue color. A little more lavender, I guess. Three of those. And then this one I love too because it's a quilt pattern. And there's some gold foiling in there as well. All the different paper patterns in the stars. So it's like a patchwork um, quilt. Love it. Including the strawberry print is in there too. So three of those. I love that there's three because you can use these on, um, you know, some of your bigger projects that require more than one 12 by 12. And it's always good to have a spare too. So this one is a nice dark green. This one looks like a tea towel with the, uh, it looks like linen. It's not texture, but it has like a linen um, print to it, if you can see that. And the red stripe, of course. So three of those, and then some cut aparts with gold foiling, all kinds of like gardening kind of sayings and themes. So really pretty, good for tags, labels, cards, albums, and recipes even on here, or just journaling. This one is like a dark indigo. And it's got like some flecks of like white in it, as you can see, just to add some texture to it. I like that a lot. They're not flat. Here's another like linen texture or linen look to it on the background with gold foil, um, like leaves and flowers and stuff. So that's very pretty. This is kind of another brick red, but more brown. So that's a nice option. Here's a plaid, a diagonal plaid with, uh, it's like a powder blue color. Looks like a tablecloth. And then here's another foiled page. This has some stems with some gold foiled berries on it. You can use that at Christmas all year round. Here's a, oops, that page fell out. This one is gray. It's kind of more of a warm gray, which is nice. And here's like a photo reel paper of strawberries. So that is cool. I got to figure out something to do with that. I think this would make a great like a uh, traveler's notebook cover. 
and add some like some of those cut aparts to the front too. I like that idea. Okay, so that's it for that one. And that one is called Countryside. Definitely, um, I was very excited to get that one. So let's move that one over and let's move to the next one. This one is called It's Your Day. And I was looking at this one too. It's a birthday collection that uh, is really, really pretty. It's got these rainbows in it that I'm really into these days and just really pretty colors. I just took a quick look at it, but let's do it together. Again, 16 designs, three of each, so there's 48 sheets. The first page is like a light blue background. It says yay with different confettis all around it. Very, very pretty. It's nice. Everyone needs um, birthday themed stuff if you're making cards or other paper projects, albums. Pretty pink color. Love that one. Here's a nice stripe that has some gold foiling in it. Really pretty. So it's not like too babyish, you know. You can use this for adults too, of course. This is like a tomato red color. Here's that rainbow page. Really, really like that. It's got gold foiling and those kind of like wonky rainbows. Obviously you don't need to use this for a birthday. You can use that for any time, which I like. And then this page, I like this a lot. It's like sprinkles and yeah, like all different kinds of sprinkles and it's got stars and hearts as well. I think I have an idea for these pages already. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> this is like a, uh, it's a pink, but a little bit more coral. And we have some gift packages here. Very pretty, bright colors, but not too bright. Kind of like pastel brights, if that makes any sense. Here are some strips. I always love these to add to cards and projects. That little watermelon with the birthday hat, that's adorable. You're one in a melon. You could just cut this apart and add that to a card front. Don't forget to make a wish. You take the cake. You're not too old, feeling old yet. So really pretty. And there's three of those. You can make lots of cards with these. Oh, this is a pretty color. This is like a, it's definitely a rich mint green. I like that a lot. And then this is a confetti page. It's got a light pink background. It's got gold foiling with the pink and blue and green and yellow. And then this is a pretty color too. This is a little bit more blue, like a robin's egg blue. Here are some candles, birthday candles. Very pretty, always good to have this kind of print. Three of those, and these cut aparts are so cute. Oh, look at this, one year older and wiser is crossed out. <laughs> Never too old for presents, absolutely. Let the good times roll, that's great for a sushi lover. I have many of those in my family. You take the cake, you're one in a melon, uh, just a blank one. Don't forget to make a wish, wishing you a very happy birthday. Uh, that'll be, go great with the strawberry papers and the other uh, pad. Have a terrific birthday. Happy birthday to you. And it's using the rainbows for some of the letters. So cute. Okay, let me move that up a little so you can see the whole thing. Whoops, doesn't want to stay up. Okay, so three of those. Let's move on. Oh, pretty solid. That has just a little schmutz on it. Pretty bright blue, like a pool blue. And this just says hooray in all different colors. And that's it. Okay, so that's a beautiful paper pad. I like it. It's not too babyish and you can use it for boys, girls, men, women, um, and even not birthday related. Okay, so that's the second one. And the last one is so pretty. It's called Modern Homestead. And I saw this in the store too. I thought the color palette was gorgeous. Okay, so 16 designs, three sheets of each, 48 pages. Let's get started. So these are um, obviously a more neutral palette. And this has gold foiling on this page. Really, really pretty. You could even see the background has a print on it, just a very subtle print. And it's in shades of like gray and cream, black and white. So three of those. And here's a very nice coordinating page. This is like that grayish mushroom color. And then this one is a beautiful blue background. Also looks textured. Let's see if you can see that with gold foiling. I think this would be great for masculine cards 
or anybody. Another one, another like linen-y kind of print. Let me just zoom in a little so you can see that. Isn't that pretty? I'll stay zoomed in for a minute in case there's another one. Here's a pretty like wheat color solid. And then, okay, let me zoom back out. Here are like strips and it says, you're my favorite person. It's a good day to be home. Let's stay home tonight. Home is where we're together. But these are really pretty colors. I love the blue. Um, I don't have a lot of blue paper pads, so it's nice when I, you know, when you're looking for papers to use for, for a man or a boy, that this would be great. Or even for like an anniversary, something like that. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, let me zoom back in. This is like a, uh, looks like a tablecloth and it's got like a woven look to it as well. Beautiful dark blue. I could see that as a background for a card. This is like a really pretty, like I would call this vin French vanilla or buttermilk color. And then here are some cut aparts. These are six by sixes. Zoom out more. There we go. You are always amazing. Love starts at home. And then some botanicals. Very pretty. This would make um, a nice album. Four card fronts. And then this is kind of like a sagey green gray color. Like that. Oh, and this is a pretty layout. This looks like a like a handkerchief all spread out. Nice dark blues and gold foiling, grays, white. Very pretty. If you scrapbook, this is perfect. I would even like cut this into uh, like a six by six card. I'd like to do that for these big prints. And then this is like a dark gray, kind of like a stone color. And then this looks similar to the first page, but uh, a little bit different. It's diamonds and it's got like, zoom in, it's got gold dots around the diamonds, which I really like. Anything dotted, I just love. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry if I hit the tripod. And then this is like a um, cream color or ivory solid. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a, a linen background, kind of like a wheat color with a cream color print on it of different florals. So all these papers obviously work really well together since they're the same paper pad. Solves the issue of coordinating papers and solids for you. This one looks like all different kinds of stitches. That's cool. I like that. That would be good to put like on a sewing theme project. And is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay, so let me zoom back out a little bit here. So this one is called Modern Homestead. And then before that, we saw It's Your Day. And then the first one is Countryside. So thank you for watching. I hope you like these paper pads. I'm looking forward to getting started crafting with them, which I'm gonna use this one first. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Bye guys.